Second or third platoons are embarked, sir. All right, fine. Now, as soon as we get underway, I want to have a troop briefing on the hangar deck. Aye, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Ray, those are your men? Yes, sir. I see they signed the rest of your company to the uh, amphibious landing. And my exec. Could be a feather in your cap. The whole operation could hinge on what you do with what you've got left. Who's your acting exec? You just passed him, Lieutenant Rice. Rice? I don't think I know him. Is he new? Well, he's new enough. Ray, are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? You've got a tough job to do. Yeah, I just had a rough night getting ready for this operation. If you say so. Good luck, Ray. That's all right, Sentry. I just lost my footing. Right, sir. I'm quite all right, Lieutenant. All hands to quarters for leaving port. you more when we get the air recon reports on this. All right. Uh, thank you. Now, Rice, you and I will be in the lead copter. Yes, sir. Now, Harris, you're going to be behind by a few minutes. I want you to land here on the opposite side of the road. And I want to establish radio contact with you as soon as I possibly can. Aye, aye, sir. Now, now we'll both be on the high ground. Well, that won't make any difference because we're going to be outnumbered four or five to one. So we'll have our problems. Would you like <clears throat> some coffee here? No, thank you, sir. You have any questions? Yes, sir. I don't understand why we've been cut down to two platoons. Well, obviously, they thought the two platoons could handle the job. It seems like an impossible job, sir. With less than 100 men to hold off a superior enemy force and tie up the armor at the same time. Well, as I said before, command thinks that we can do the job, and if they think so, then we're going to do it. All right. <clears throat> I'll see you at 19.30 on the hangar deck for a briefing. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Stand. 
What's the matter with him, Bill? I don't know. You better get the doctor if you're in a hurry. He's all right for now, Lieutenant. Relax. You got a cigarette? Oh, yeah. Can I see the captain? Not yet. Do you find out what's wrong? Cute appendicitis. You'll be able to handle that all right, then. In his case, I'm not sure. He was cut up pretty bad in Korea. There are things inside him that were put together with wire and glue. Are you going to fly him to the base hospital? I can't risk a ruptured appendix. The surgeon who knows his case is being flown out from Camp Pendleton Hospital. He'll operate here. You can go in now. Thank you. Lieutenant, he's packed in ice. I don't want him upset or excited. Yes, sir, I understand. Captain. Hello, Bill. Feeling better, sir? Hmm. Fine, yeah. I feel like a martini on the rocks. Fact is, they've got me so doped up, I feel like I've had a few. <laughs> Not a bad idea, sir. Did you, uh, did you get through to the first platoon? Well, sir, a, a helicopter will rendezvous with the transport and bring the exec back here to take over. Ah, uh, that's good, good. Well, what time will it be here? Well, uh, not until late tonight, sir. Late tonight? Well, that's not Captain, enough time. Captain, the doctor said you should be kept quiet. I know, but that's, he's not going to have time to familiarize I'll help him so. as much as I can, sir. No, 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 no. That's cancel the request for transfer. You're the senior lieutenant. You take it, Rice. You take that company in there. Captain, I... You do a good job now, do you hear me? Yes, sir, I'll take care of it. I owned that company, you know. They were... It's important to me they do a good job for us. I'm glad you're in on this. Have you talked to your captain? How does he seem? Not good. We'll take care of him. Still a big man with the ladies, Lieutenant Rice? Joe Worth. Oh, I'm sorry. First Lieutenant Joe Worth. This is my co-pilot, Lieutenant Duncan Martin. I showed Lieutenant Rice to his room when he was a plebe arriving at Annapolis and I was an upperclassman. Did you ever get over being a plebe, Rice? Well, much to your distress, Lieutenant, I certainly did. Then what are you doing now? Running errands for the Admiral? Lieutenant Rice was always an eager beaver. The first to volunteer, the first to follow up a detail. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I uh, have work to do. What kind of work, Rice? Well, there's a little maneuver going on tomorrow, Lieutenant, or haven't you heard? Oh, and they're uh, trusting you with a platoon. With a company. Which company? Bravo. That's interesting. That makes me your flight leader. Uh -huh. 
Executive. I put my gear here. Do you know what happened to it? Yes, sir. I moved it. You moved it? Yes, sir. The executive officer sends his compliments and asks that you follow me to your new quarters. Okay. Lieutenant Harris to see the troop commander. Send him in. Sir, if the lieutenant needs anything, my post is in the passageway. No, no, thank you. Uh, sir, would the lieutenant like some fresh coffee sent up? No, uh, not at this moment. Uh, that'll be all. Yes, sir. How's the skipper? Oh, he's pretty sick. Sure has a lot to do around here. Shall I set up chow for 0430? Yeah, thanks. I, uh... Yeah, I'd like to have the troops fed in plenty of time for uh, takeoff. And uh, it doesn't look like rain, but I want you to check aerology. The late report. Oh, also check the weapons detachment, see that all the heavy equipment's in good order. And uh, I guess that's about all. I'll take care of it, sir. Before we get into our tactical plan, let us review our time. HR. 0630. Boarding time for serial numbers 1 through 6 will be 0600, and for 7 through 12, 0640. Frequencies we must guard 48.9, 50.2, 49one as you know, the plan calls for our main troops to land at White Beach and Red Beach, sweep in a pincer move to seize and hold the airfield here. Now, to accomplish this, it is vital that we pull the main defensive force out of position. This will be accomplished by Lieutenant Rice's diversionary force. It is his job to land his platoons in here by helicopter, southeast of the enemy tank concentration. And one, convince the enemy that this is the main landing. Convince him so strongly that he'll move his troops and armor to this area. And two, most importantly of all, Rice, Engage and hold those tanks for as long as possible. Now, this is critical. They must go by this road here because of the hill mass in this area. Now, if they're not held, they can sweep in here toward the coast and interfere with our main forces landing at White and Red Beaches. Now, the operations order gives you several choices of landing area, Lieutenant Rice. Have you made a decision? 
Yes, sir, I have. I would like my landing at coordinate 6811-8812 with my tactical alternate of 6813-8814, sir. Excuse me, Major. May I suggest that Lieutenant Rice reverse his order of preference? His second choice is easier to get a chopper in and out of. My first choice puts me down closer to my objective, Lieutenant. I know the area, Lieutenant. I've been in and out of it 50 times. And I tell you, the time saved in the landing will actually get you to your objective quicker. I think you're missing the point, Lieutenant. I want the terrain which gives maximum protection to my people. Would you two officers like to have another look at the charts and decide this together? Sir, I think I'm the best judge of my mission, my people, and their capabilities. And since the operation order specifies that I make the choice, I stand by my initial decision. The weather officer will brief you on expected conditions, and there will be a final briefing in the morning to apprise you of any change in any phase of the operation. Lieutenant? Still haven't learned to take advice, have you, Lieutenant? <laughs> Hello, Bill. How is he? Resting. When are they going to operate? The surgeon is in doubt about some of the tests, so I think they're going to wait until tomorrow. He's going to be all right, isn't he? I, I think so. Leslie. He going to make it? I don't know, Bill. Colonel Highland. Yes, sir. I'll ride in with your flight if you don't mind. My pleasure, sir. Excuse me, sir. Second and third platoon present and ready to load, sir. Very good. Task force ready for boarding. All troops ready for boarding. On your way. Color team, one through six, close. Color team, one through six, close.
What time is it? It's uh, 6.14. Did the company get off? Bill got them off at 0600 on the dot. Bill? Well, you're a very pretty girl, but he should be spending his time getting the company ready, not meeting pretty girls. Bill Rice and I are old friends, Captain. And he had your company ready. Now, suppose you just concentrate on getting yourself ready. We have at least four more tests to run on you. Take a squad and set in machine guns, then a downward slope in among those big boulders over there. Aye, aye, sir. Please, Lieutenant Harris, sir. Follow me! Buzzer 6, go ahead, Stan, over. This is Buzzer 2. We're landed and in position. My 106 is coming in now. Very good. You get your spotters out. There should be enemy tank activity real soon. Out.
Sir, there are no rocks in that forward slope. The hill is bald. There's no rocks. That's right, sir. Well, come on, kid. Baxter, get me the second platoon. Buzzer two, this is buzzer six. Over. Come in, buzzer two. Here, sir. This is buzzer six. I ordered my landing in the alternate area. Worth put us down at Alpha. Now, I don't know what happened. Six. Stan, I'm under heavy fire. I'll call you back as soon as I know our situation out. Runner! I'm going to get supporting fire on the right. On the double! Lieutenant, I'm assigning two dead in your first and second squads and two wounded in your third. Sergeant Hatton Tag. This is Buzzer Umpire. Come in. Roger. I got it. Buzzer Umpire out. Lieutenant, the aggressors have moved the mortars beyond those hummocks over there. You are in range. All right, pass the word. Take cover. We're under mortar fire. He's right in the middle of it. Where'd they come from? I don't know where they came from, sir, but we've got company. Sergeant, alert the 106 crew. Buzzer 6, this is Buzzer 2. Over. Boy, you are really taking on heavy mortar fire, Lieutenant. I'm going to have to knock out both your 106s and one of your rocket launchers. Buzzer 6, go ahead. We've got the armor spotted. They're moving up the road from the south. Can you make crossfire with us? Over. Negative, negative. I just lost both of my 106s. Lieutenant, I'm assigning four casualties in your first squad, one in your second, and four in your third. Sir, we're being flanked on the right. Enemy has too many men. Lieutenant, did you get those casualties? You're being ripped up bad. Yes, sir, I heard that, sir. All right, Keggy, pull them in. Yes, sir. Look, Stan, I can't hold this hill. Now cover us. We're withdrawing to your position. Out. Runner! Tell the squad leader we'll fight a withdrawing action. Join second platoon on the other hill. Now get out yes, of here! Sir. How come you didn't spot him from the air? I told you I smelled trouble. I have to go to an alternate landing area. Sir, the enemy's still on our tails. They're reforming for an assault in this position. Enemy tank coming into position, sir. All right, let's get set up for the tank. Come on. Come on. Radio. Direct hit on tank. Signal empire relay. Tank blocking the road. Lay down harassing fire to keep him from dragging that tank out of the road. Enemy troops attacking again in force, sir. Air attack! Casualties, air attack. Lieutenant! Forward observers report they're moving our mortars again. Now give me the phone. Find Sergeant Murray and tell him to pull back. 
Beehive, this is buzzer six, request signal seven. Repeat, request signal seven. Signal seven, you're pulling us out? What do you suggest? Count the number of men we have left. Roger, Beehive, out. All right, pass the word. Pull back to alternate site for pickup. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. seeing you that the doctor thought it would be better to let him than to permit him to get so excited. When do they operate? He'll be on the table in an hour. Betty, you can only stay for a minute, and whatever you do, don't let him get excited. <laughs> I won't. What did you do to my company? Everything's fine, sir. How are you feeling? Don't lie to me. I heard the reports. Sir, as long as you're not feeling well... Bravo Company withdrew. You weren't there more than an hour. There were heavy enemy forces. Sir. Now, this whole operation hinged on us. You took Bravo Company in and you took them out without giving him a chance. Captain, uh, you weren't there. I was. If it was an error in judgment, I bear full responsibility. I'm not supposed to stay here any longer. No, you're not. You're dismissed, Lieutenant. Is he all right? Bill, what's wrong? What does he know about it? He wasn't even there. I just checked out our losses. We only got one 106 out of there. We lost almost 50% of the third platoon, 10% casualties on the second platoon. Landing areas Alpha and Bravo look an awful lot alike. I'm sure that's what the flight leader will say. Did you talk to him? Not yet. I'll have a chance in about five minutes. Chief umpire wants to see both of us for an explanation. Make it good, Bill. It's going to count an awful lot on your next fitness report. Don't you think I know that? Colonel Highland's going to be watching how you handle this. Just don't blow your top. Don't count on that. Well, gentlemen, when battalion headquarters and regiment read the extent of these losses, they're going to have some questions, and I would like to have some right answers. Now, Lieutenant Rice. Sir. Did you look over the terrain before you landed? Yes, sir. I saw signs of enemy activity, sir. I, I couldn't tell how many, but I did see them. Mm -hmm. And you elected to land in Area Alpha anyway, huh? No, sir, I did not. I ordered the flight leader to drop me off at the alternate landing point, sir. No, you didn't. You said you wanted to go in. I saw the same enemy troops you did. I even asked you whether you knew what you were doing. I ordered you to take us to the alternate. You completely ignored me and set us down at Alpha. That's a lie. My co-pilot heard you say you wanted down at Alpha. Now, don't make me your excuse. I simply followed your orders. Well, just because you and I dislike oh, each other has nothing to do with... Gentlemen, that. gentlemen, come on. Are you calling me a liar? No, you're calling me a liar. That's what you are. Stand to attention, both of you. Now, you listen to me. I will not tolerate this, because I will not have personal dislikes stand in the way of professional duty. Now, sit down. Now, you can be sure that all of this, and I mean all of it, will be in my report and evaluation. And if it takes a full formal investigation to find out... Come in! Sir, Major Atkins sends his respects and asks that you read this dispatch. Hmm. Operations have ordered you back in again. You will be airlifted to this point here. To 
hold back those enemy tanks again. The tanks will be rolling into the sea, and if they're not held up, they'll hit us at the rear here. All of this is to be done with the remaining force, sir? Lieutenant Rice, you can't bring dead men back to life in combat. That's what this is all about. I'll brief you as soon as I get an operations order. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Worth, Rice. Sir? Now, understand something. It doesn't matter to the Marine Corps whether you like the person you're working with. The important thing is how you work with him. Now, I'm going to give you what amounts to a second chance. I'm not going to promise to forget what went on here, but I'm going to give you a chance to minimize it. Now, get out of here and good luck. Yes, sir. on half a company and one 106, sir? We'll start on rifle grenades and machine guns and rifles and anything else we can get our hands on. We're not pulling out this time, are we? You know it, buddy. Any word on the skipper? Yeah, they're about to take him into surgery. I wish we'd done better for him. There's work. I want to talk to him. Now, hear this. Millardi, James A. All right. We don't like each other. We haven't settled who goof. Let's forget it for now, huh? I haven't let it interfere, Lieutenant. Won't get in my way either, Lieutenant. We're ready. Get your troops. troops down there. I have enough men here to hold them off. You don't have enough men to keep them from picking me off. I need that bulldozer, Lieutenant. I don't have much to fight with. My orders are to put you down on the road, 2,000 yards up. I can't order you to chance it. I'm asking you to do it. to fight with. Execute! Get them. 
45 minutes before the tanks do, and I'll consider it done. 45 minutes, sir. 45 minutes. better be good. My ship was just designated disabled. My crew and I are under your command, sir. I threw my ship away. I put us down 2,000 yards away from the company, and this thing's out of gas. Buzzer 2, sir. Thank you. Buzzer 2, this is Buzzer 6. Come in, over. Buzzer 6, this is Buzzer 2. We're down and in position. Over. All right, Buzzer 2, send out a recon team. Keep your eye open for heavy armor. Oh, and listen, Stan, I can't get through to be high control from here. See if you can get any word on Captain Rambridge. Over. Will do. Out. Isn't there a vehicle in the area we could steal some gas from? Did you see anything on the road, sir? KGI. For you, sir. Buzzer 6, come in. Over. We've already got their tanks in sight. Road 1-4 at ridge 206. They're rolling fast toward you. They should be on you within an hour or less. Roger, out. Can we use it? No. Colonel Highland says the ship was damaged, but we can salvage the gas. Well, that's more. Hey, wait a minute, Worth. Won't Octane that high burn the dozer up? Not if we mix it with engine oil. Let's get at it. Come on. Give me your helmet. Yeah, and I just fixed the intercom. Put that helmet back. I don't want to use it. Two hours work so we could hear through it. And now look. Let's get some more helmets. Negative, negative. I gotta hold here until those tanks are stopped. Out. Check with the other observers. Job was signed to Bravo Company. Lieutenant Rice, we haven't heard from him yet. Aye, sir. Air Observer 6, this is Bamboo 3. Over. Other troops. Tanks are still moving west toward you. Over. Imperative you locate buzzer troops and keep me informed on those tanks. Out. Got to stop those tanks, but we've had it. Keggy?
grinning about. Well, sir, it's a beautiful night out there. You seem to be feeling better, and Bravo Company stopped those tanks cold. Yes, I heard about it. I suppose you're waiting for me to congratulate you, huh? Well, before you get any pat on the back, I want you to consider your losses. In the first place, you had to do it twice, and in the second, you wouldn't have had to have the luck of finding the bulldozer if you hadn't withdrawn in the first place. And we'll talk about that withdrawal a little later. You're just lucky I wasn't there. I would have shot you. Well, if it'll make the captain feel any better, um, somebody did, so. <laughs> 